Hi, my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salient Consulting and this is a quick FileMaker tip having to do with conditional value lists. A question that I get a lot is how do you make dropdowns that are dependent on each other? In other words, how do you make dropdowns that are conditional? Now in this example I have three fields, type, category, and description, and here I see a list of all the types that exist. But when I get to category, I actually see a categories that have to do with all the types, with science, English, and music. And same thing with description, I see a bunch of things that are meaningless um, depending on what I pick. So when I choose science, I only want to see science options for the category. And when I choose element, I only want to see element um, descriptions for that category. Now let me show you the other table I have in here. It's called values. And it is basically a running list of every potential combination. So for science, here you'll see we have the categories of element and theory. For music, we have instruments and genre and so on. Now where the magic happens is the relationships graph, so let's jump over there real quick. Data is the table where I'm actually populating my, my records, um, this, this layout here in the background, and values is where we can find all of the different values that are possible, right? So uh, math, sorry, science, English, and music, and then the hierarchy from there. Now we have to ask ourselves, where are we standing when we're doing this? Well, well we're standing on the data table. So I'm going to create a relationship, and it's going to be a it's it's a table occurrence from data to values, and the relationship is based on the type. Now, when I want to see that second dropdown, so the first dropdown is going to be a generic dropdown of all potential types out there. The category, however, is dependent on what type I choose. So I'm going to create a relationship from this field data type, which is where I chose in my example science and I'm going to match that up with the type field in my values. Click OK and let me jump into layout mode. So this data type has a drop down where we're seeing the value type. We're seeing all values from the field type in the values table. This second drop down for data category is the one we need to change. So right now it's showing me values from a field. However, if I go into the details, it's actually showing me all values and that's not what I want. I want to include only related values. So I'm going to I'm going to choose up here. I have to choose where I want to actually pull the values from, and that has to do with that new table occurrence I created. Data values by type. I want to show the category field, and I only want to include related values starting from the data table occurrence. Click OK all the way through. And when I jump into browse mode now, you'll see that my category dropdown is dependent on my type. So because this says science, this only shows me two options here. If I make a new record and I choose music, you'll see that I only get genre and instrument. So, so far so good. Now we have to fix this data description because this isn't tied to the category and the type at all. So let's go back into our relationships. So we already have a relationship from data to values by type, but now I'm saying show me the descriptions based on the type and the category. Now I'd be careful here, I wouldn't just do a relationship by category because what if two different types, what if English and music both have a genre, a genre category, then you would be mixing up your, your values there. So again I'm going to create a new table occurrence to values. This one's going to be called data to values, and it's going to be by type and by category. Now I'm going to relate this from data type to type, because we've already chosen that value, right? And then from category to category. And now I need to change my dropdown again. So it's value description, but again, I need only related fields. So I'm going to jump into this, uh, this value list, the value list options, and I need to change my context. So again, what have I already populated or what have I already given the database through the relationship? I know the, I'm looking at the values based on the type and the category. I want to show a dropdown of description, but I don't want to show all values. I want to show only related values starting from data. So again, it's very context-based. I'm standing on data. Through a relationship, I'm going to look at this table occurrence, 
which is related by type and category, and I want it to show me a dropdown of the values in description. So getting out of that, you'll see that now I've chosen music and genre, and now I see only the descriptions that have to do with the type and category. So now I can choose my values. Same thing over here when I choose science and then element, then I only see the descriptions that make sense for science and element. Hopefully that was helpful. I, I know that these are really popular, especially when we want to choose values and help the user choose the right value throughout um, multiple fields. So if you have any questions, please make some comments on the video. And thanks for watching.